And now I welcome Imam Ahmad Sadiq. He holds an MA degree in Islamic studies from the Al-Azhar University and represents the Islamic Cultural Center of Iceland. Good afternoon. Uh, actually, uh, lots of points have been discussed, but uh, basically I want to refer to uh, some basic articles or uh, principles in Islam uh, which are regarded in Arabic as fitra and here comes as a reference in Islam to uh, circumcision. Uh, Islam regards circumcision as uh, one of the natural dispositions that things that people are supposed to do naturally everybody and this is why it is traced back to uh, the Abrahamic religion as Prophet Abraham was circumcised and in the Bible Jesus was circumcised as well and it is a Jewish habit and uh, or practice and a Muslim practice as well. Uh, circumcision uh, in Islam uh, it is uh, something that uh, scholars agree on it is part of Islamic faith. Uh, there are always uh, different uh, opinions about uh, how mandatory it is but generally speaking it is something that is regarded a religious practice and a cultural practice as well and I mean by uh, cultural practice that some people who are Muslims and not necessarily practicing Islam they still uh, respect this uh, practice and regard it part of their culture, the culture they were born and raised in. And from that point of view, they uh, care and uh, find it very essential for uh, them respecting their culture, their traditions, uh, uh, and uh, passing it to their children. And here I want to refer actually to one uh, article in the uh, uh, UN Convention of uh, Child uh, Rights because uh, we had many quotations uh, in this conference uh, uh, from the UN Convention. So I just wanted to refer to one important uh, article, article number 30. Uh, let me read it. It says, um, uh, in those states in which ethnic, religious, uh, or linguistic minorities or, pers or persons of indigenous origin exist, a child belonging to such a minority or who is indigenous shall not be denied the right in community with other members of his or her group to enjoy his or her own culture, to profess and practice his or her own religion, or to use his or her own language. So this is uh, an article in the UN Convention which clearly mentioned the right of the children to be, to be raised uh, the way their parents uh, are raised and uh, according to their faith, according to their traditions and the practices. And the uh, circumcision, uh, circumcision comes here as part of this culture and of these uh, uh, practices that according to the UN Convention it should be uh, uh, respected. Uh, I, I know there has been some uh, points, uh, some reference to uh, Article 24 about, uh, from the same UN Convention uh, that the children must be protected against the traditional practices uh, prejudic uh, prejudicial to uh, their health, that's harmful to their health. Uh, and actually here comes the point uh, which is questionable uh, is it really harmful to their health or not? And this is what we will hear uh, in detail from uh, respected uh, specialists uh, when they uh, start talking about this issue. Uh, the uh, reports and the studies, especially the American Pediatric, uh, uh, the American Pediatric Academy, uh, had an uh, opposition against the circumcision in the beginning, and then they changed the point of view after founding out that finding out that there are uh, lots of uh, benefits and that the benefits uh, uh, overweigh. The, uh, the risks of uh, circumcision. So this issue also we want to discuss it uh, within the society. Uh, when uh, this bill was proposed 
uh, Muslim community and Jewish community uh, were not discussed about this issue. Um, and we expected actually to be uh, questioned and uh, just uh, find uh, some kind of respect before issuing this. We are living in the country and uh, uh, we have a community here which is not small community compared to the population in Iceland. And uh, people started asking me, actually, Muslims who have born new, uh, have born babies, uh, boys, uh, are asking now and waiting, are they going to be allowed to have their children, their boys, circumcised or not? Uh, and uh, we hope the answer will be yes. Uh, so uh, this uh, issue, actually, I want to uh, refer to it from some arguments of those uh, who are uh, like uh, 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 opponent to circumcision uh, raise uh, that it is violating the human right of bodily integrity uh, that parents may uh, breach only to treat illness. Like parents are only allowed if they are going to treat some illness uh, the boys are suffering from. Uh, then only an adult can consent to permanent alteration of the body. Uh, actually, this uh, issue uh, has some uh, like questions or problems because uh, the bodily integrity in this sense is breached by ear piercing, by uh, removing uh, tonsils sometimes, uh, which is a decision taken by parents uh, uh, without counseling uh, the children, and sometimes it is not necessary. Uh, so uh, uh, translating the law and the articles, it, is, uh, it can be translated differently. And uh, what I think and I believe in, that we uh, should uh, also have a look at the religious freedom which our children uh, have as part of the rights uh, according to the UN Convention. And uh, we need also to think about uh, the uh, consequences or the repercussions uh, of uh, w when the uh, boys grow up and they are religious and they want to practice uh, uh, this uh, circumcision. Uh, imagine the sufferings and the difficulties they are going to face. Uh, at this age, and they will, of course, fear this operation. It would become kind of operation, a surgery, but when it is uh, uh, done at very young age, it is uh, like a, a, a tiny medical procedure uh, and less risky and uh, less painful as well. So we need also to think about this, and that can cause a bad uh, uh, reaction in the society People feel they are isolated. Uh, we hear now, now the Jewish community saying, don't make us feel we are not welcome uh, in the country. And that is true. We need to respect each other's uh, culture, uh, uh, religious uh, practices, and uh, it is only those who want to do it uh, can do it. Doing circumcision for boys will not uh, uh, cause harm to the public society. If there is real harm uh, uh, afflicted by practicing circumcision, it will not be some harm afflicted uh, on the whole society, but uh, being even uh, harmful, it is something questionable. So we hope that uh, uh, this uh, bill will be discussed again and again, uh, uh, and it will uh, end up with uh, giving uh, some, uh, uh, like, a conclusion that would be pleasing to each and every member of the society of uh, Iceland. Uh, thank you.